Hello and welcome. This is Nate and I've got the home for you. Especially if you're one of those guys that doesn't like the wide open floor plan. You know, you don't like walking in into your living room, seeing your kitchen, your dining room as soon as you walk in. This is the one for you. Along with all these beautiful windows right here, We've got some nice accent colors here. Now the sun's not cooperating with me very well in this home, but we've got kind of an off-white and a gray with a black trim. It looks really, really good. Now this one also has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Y'all are gonna love the master bathroom in this one. Your kids' rooms all have walk-in closets. Your master bedroom closet, huge. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> I know. Shoot me now, shoot me later. All right, anyway, <clears throat> enough joking around. We got to get around to the inside. For those of you that are curious, though, I am at Pratt Homes in Tyler, Texas. So I was thankful that they let me come film their homes. Like I said, they've got some top-notch homes here. I'm glad they let me come film. I know you guys are probably enjoying all these homes. So do me a favor and hit that like button. Should be popping up somewhere around here to say, hey, go down here and hit the like button. Let them know that I, they did me right by letting me film. <laughs> or did themselves right by letting me film. Now let's head on in. So here is the view you get as soon as you walk in. Now there is a little bit of dining room visible over there. I didn't say it was perfect as far as not being able to see everything. But look at the view you have. Your living room is a little more than one half of the width of the home. There's your marriage line right here. You can kind of see that line that runs down the middle. So your living room is really large. Not just long and you know narrow, but you've got a wide area. Really helps with the placement of furniture. We've got the recessed tray ceiling in here. Vents above, you know, vents in the ceiling. Yes, your vents are above the floor. How's that? All right, it's getting close to the end of the day. It's like 4.30, I got a couple more homes to go for the day. And they got so many homes, I'm going to have to come back another day and finish filming. Really nice built-in entertainment center. One last look at those uh, windows over there, and then we're going to come to your dining room. Now they went with a round table in here, which is nice to see. Kind of shows you, because usually you see the rectangular table, so it's nice to see a round table in here. Fits really nice. Of course, you could easily fit a couple more, a couple more chairs in there. And here is your big wraparound kitchen. Now it's not as big as some of the other wraparound kitchens, but you got a lot of space in here. We've got our center island with the 
Well, they got a heater in that one. <laughs> but you've got your pots and pans drawers. Soft clothes on them. So that tells you if you can put a heater in there, they're pretty big drawers. <laughs> and we've got a nice flow of the kitchen also here. We've got our dishwasher, our sink. We've got all our cabinets, lots of counter space to do prep work on. Then our stove comes around to the pantry, the microwave, and then the fridge. And it's all easily accessible within just a couple of steps. Nice big corner pantry. And I like when they do these uh, squared off hoods like this, you know, kind of cover everything up and makes it more of a display piece. And then they've got the white subway tile backsplash. I almost didn't even notice it because it blended right in with the rest of the wall. So lest we forget the back side of your dining room is your utility room. Now I'm just going to stand here. Look at how big this utility room is. You've got giant size chest freezer can go there or your stand up freezer. We've got our side by sides with cabinets above. We've got the mandatory sink. Our heating air conditioning central heating unit. And I would be willing to bet this is going to be a water heater. Panel, yep, I knew it. I knew it was back there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, kids rooms. with our linen cabinet here. We gotta, always gotta check out one door in the linen cabinet, right? We've got some cubbies instead of drawers. Lots of counter space in here. And hello, Raiden. <laughs> and we've got our uh, giant shower tub combo. I say giant because the camera doesn't do it justice, but you can see that is a really big tub in there. All right. Bedrooms. I told you. The bedrooms got big walk-in closets in them. Look at how deep that closet goes. And then bedroom number two. Yes, I am kind of doing these a little bit quicker. Like I said, I, it's getting late in the day. I got at least two more I need to get before the end of the day. My gimbal's starting to run low on battery. <laughs> I've been at this for, see this one makes, I think home number 15. And I've been at it since uh, nine o'clock this morning and it's going on five. <laughs> All right, we got master bedroom to go. Now this master bedroom, they put a king size bed in here. 
Now it's not as big as some of the others I've been filming. So this is kind of your mid-sized home, even though it's on the larger side of the mid-size. You know, it looks like a crown up there, king-size bed. And we come into our master bathroom with this long soaker tub. Got our toilet. Really nice countertops here. Nice set of counters or drawers right there. Of course, you got your standard under counter or under sink counter space. And then they went with that rustic wood tile back here. Now this is a 40 by, I believe, 60 shower, I think is what he told me. Looks really good. About the only thing I would add maybe is a bench at the end down there, if that's possible. I like these little rollers on there too. And then look how big your closet is. Yep, this could be your closet for the low, low price of And with that, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the home. What do you like? What kind of changes do you think you would make? While you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. That way it helps the videos perform better. Leave the comments, all that kind of stuff. Maybe even share the video with a friend or two. I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a good night. What would you think? I really like this home. Y'all are gonna love the price. I mean, this is a mid-size home. This one is a manufactured home. It's not a modular, so of course the price is gonna be a little bit cheaper on it. But uh, I really like the layout of this one, especially with the way you know you walk in. You got the big entertainment center drawing your attention over here instead of the kitchen and dining room over here. So that kind of you know really adds to the appeal. I really like the fact that it's not a long, narrow uh, living room. So, you know, it gives you a better furniture placement. That kind of stuff is a little more squared off. So it really adds to the appeal of it. We got to get you some price information on, on this home. So uh, I know it's June, almost the end of June already. And I filmed this clear back in January. So it's been five months ago that I filmed this. So <laughs> I don't think the price has probably changed too much. But anyway, we got to get that price information. This was, as I said, in January of 2023. This was at Pratt Homes in Tyler, Texas. This is a champion-built home. So, you know, the, you probably find this in other manufacturers with the same floor design. It might be a little bit different in price. But uh, this champion home called the Jaina, I believe is how it's pronounced, in January of 2023 comes in at a uh, $75 to $100 a square foot. Now that is because Pratt Homes does not give me an actual price on the homes. They only gave me the price per square foot on all of their homes. So anyway, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. It really helps these videos perform better. I do hope you share this with your friends and family. And I will see you soon with another one. Thanks for watching. Bye.